Hello friends, welcome to the training session today. I'm Sony, your trainer for this session. Now today's session is on past tense. We've done two forms of past tense, the simple past and the past perfect. Today we'll continue with the past continuous and past perfect continuous. Let me tell you about the aims and objectives of the program today. First of all, we'll see how we can use the past continuous tense. Under which all circumstances do we use this form? Then we'll move on to the verb formation. How to construct the sentence using past continuous tense. We have an exercise then based on past continuous tense. We'll also discuss the interrogative and negative forms of sentences. What do you understand by interrogative? Yes, where you have a question mark at the end, a question and the negative form. Then we move on to the past perfect continuous tense. First we'll discuss its use and then the verb formation. How can you construct a sentence using the past perfect continuous form? As we discussed in the past continuous, so will we discuss in the past perfect continuous the negative and the interrogative forms or statements. And as usual, we have an exercise at the end. So I hope you pay attention and you will enjoy the session. Now before I start with the past continuous tense, do you remember what is simple past and past perfect? I'll give you one example each. When I say, I went to the library yesterday, I went, the word went depicts that the sentence is in the simple past form. Now when I say, I had done my homework yesterday. I had done. I told you in case of past perfect, you use the word had along with the verb. So this sentence is in the past perfect form. Let's move on with today's topic. Let's discuss the past continuous tense. Let's start with an example. He was cooking chicken when the guests arrived. Now the guests have not come right now. They arrived before maybe yesterday or two days ago. Let us see when and how do we use the past continuous tense. We use the past continuous tense for any action at some point in the past. First of all, you need to remember that the time has to be any past time, not at present or not in the future. It has to be past and then the action had to be going on because it is continuous. For example, I was watching a film. Was tells you that you were watching a film, maybe yesterday or two days ago. And watching tells you it's a continuous action. So I was watching a film becomes a statement in past continuous tense. ठीक है? एक और एग्जांपल लेते हैं। Namita was traveling. वो जा रही थी। आज नहीं जा रही। जा रही थी। पुरानी बात। So was traveling tells you it's a past continuous action. The past continuous tense can also be used with always or continually for habitual actions in the past. Let's take an example. She was always smiling. Now always tells you a state of continuity or her habit. Ki wo hamesha hasti rehti thi. She was always smiling.
so this was about the use of the past continuous form let us discuss the verb formation the verb formation helps you form the entire sentence if you are required to form a sentence in a particular tense in case of past continuous form the subject or the person you are talking about is followed by a was or a were depending upon the subject whether the subject is singular or plural which is then followed by the verb and an ing is attached to the verb i'll tell you what let me give you an example and it will become easy for you i was reading tenses in the english period now i told you the subject is i i'm talking about myself i was or were you will use was because i represents a single person so you use was with i i was the verb here is read because it is continuous so the verb has to be followed by ing ing and the sentence becomes i was reading tenses in the english period making it past continuous form another example we were reading tenses on monday two things you need to remember we represents a plural quantity more than one so instead of was you use were to show that it's a past action and again the verb read becomes reading to make it continuous so we were reading becomes your past continuous form now let me tell you about an interesting thing i tell you that whenever you have i use was when you have he use was when you have they use were there is a proper name given to such kind of a relation or this concept it is called subject verb agreement subject hua jiske bare mein aap baat kar rahe ho verb is your action word and you need to check that you use the verb according to the form of the subject whether the subject is singular or whether it's plural for example in case of i i is singular you will use was i was dancing yesterday not i were again in case of he he means a single man or a single boy with he you'll also use was he was a good student with she the same rule applies she was a good dancer and with it which is usually considered for non living objects it was a good computer or it was a good day so now do you understand when to use was jab aap jiske bare mein baat kar rahe ho wo ek hi quantity hai agar ek se zyada hai to wo plural ho jata hai now in case the quantity is plural or the noun is in the plural form then we use were was or were dono past ke liye hain was hai jab quantity is one and were hai jab quantity is more than one for example we we were working on the project yesterday we ke sath were they they were dancing beautifully yesterday you you were going to the market yesterday you is an exception because you is also singular so this concept is called subject verb agreement do keep it in mind because if you go wrong here your sentence would be grammatically incorrect it would even sound funny at times let's see some examples i was jogging in the street when somebody stopped me and asked what time it was i was jogging i ke sath was and then towards the end when somebody asked me what time it was not it were 
okay at this time yesterday aman was riding a horse now in this case the was that you have used is it for aman or for the horse it is for aman because the action is being performed by aman aman was riding okay at this time yesterday aman was riding let's see another example in the form of a short paragraph there were a lot of people waiting at the station there were were kyun use kiya because you're talking about a lot of people if you were to say there was a girl then you'll use was with a single girl but because people means more than one person so you use were some were sleeping on the benches and others were walking up and down we've described a station scene maybe a railway station scene shikha let's talk about a specific girl shikha was looking for her grandfather so she didn't sit down this is how we've described a simple railway station scene in a short paragraph using the past continuous tense just go through this paragraph once more when you go back home it's there in your workbook let us see some more examples in the form of sentences when pankaj was young he was always getting into trouble he was always getting was means past getting means continuous so it becomes past continuous next i was wondering if you could help me simple sentence next one i was thinking of having a party next week you were thinking i was thinking right i was walking home when i met daddy it's a past action you're describing some day which is already gone by you met your father and that time you were walking i was walking met also depicts that it's a past action another one amisha was watching television when the phone rang you've related two actions the moment or the time when the phone rang what was amisha doing at that time she was watching television i was watching tv when you called it's a similar example next when the phone rang she was writing a letter just like amita was watching television this girl was writing a letter while we were having the picnic it started to rain started again shows you that it's the past form and were having shows you it is a past continuous action another one i was sleeping when the earthquake started the earthquake started some time ago and what were you doing that time you were sleeping i was sleeping okay let's go to another example i was listening to the radio so i didn't hear the fire alarm it's a simple sentence showing the past continuous form now as i said we've done enough of past continuous form i've told you when to use was when to use were the subject verb agreement concept as well remember that now use all this knowledge and let's go ahead and check out how much do you remember there's a wonderful exercise now titled all in a day's work Let's go and check what this exercise is about. In this exercise, you need to fill in the blanks with the past continuous form of the verbs. We are describing a day in the life of a person who goes to office. You people go to school, but what about your mother or your father? They go to their offices. So we've described a day in their life. What happens 
when they go to the office. You need to fill in the blanks wherever I see a dash. Okay, let's start. When I walked into the office, several people dash. The verb you can use is type. T-Y-P-E. Some dash. The verb is talk on the phones. The boss dash directions. The word is yell. Y-E-L-L. -L. Yell means cheekna, to shout. Yelling at the student. And customers dash to be helped. The verb you can use is wait. One customer dash at a secretary. The verb is shout. And dash his hands. The word you can use is wave. To wave your hand, wave. Others dash to each other about the bad service. Others, the verb is complain. Okay? A small paragraph, a small scene of an office. Now let's go ahead and see what have you filled in the blanks with. Have you used the correct tense, the correct form of the tense? Let's go and check the answers. When I walked into the office, several people were typing. Several people, you're talking about many. So they were typing. Some were talking on the phones. The boss, now boss is one. You're not saying bosses. It's boss. Boss was yelling directions and customers, plural, so it is, were waiting to be helped. One customer was shouting at a secretary and waving his hands. Others were complaining to each other about the bad service. Got all of them correct? Good. Now let's go ahead using the past continuous tense. Let's check how you can make polite requests. If you want a favor from someone or if you want someone to do some work for you, how can you ask that person politely or request him to do some work for you? Let's check out one or two statements. The first one, I was wondering if you had the time to see me. This is a request. You're asking someone to meet you or to see you. And you politely say, I was wondering, that is you are thinking that whether the other person has sufficient time to see you or whether he can take out some time from his busy routine and see you. So was wondering is in the past continuous form. Another one, we were hoping if you could take an extra class ma'am. The students are requesting the teacher. So next time if you need to request your teacher for an extra class, this is how you need to say it. We were hoping if you could take an extra class ma'am. Okay, I'm sure if you request her in this manner, she would not refuse. It's hard to refuse such kind of requests. But if you say ma'am, please take an extra class. Do you think she would agree? Well, if she's very good, a very good teacher, maybe she agrees. But then you are not a good student. Because you are not a good student. How do We were hoping you could take an extra class, ma'am. Okay? You can also add a please to sound even more polite. Alright? Now, I had mentioned that we'll talk about interrogative and negative forms. Interrogative means a question and negative means where it shows a negation. You have a not there. Let's talk about interrogative first. In the past, continuous form. Was she working? Was she working? Was tells you it's past. And the way you say it and the way you frame it tells you that it's a question. Similarly, were they working? Were they? 
Why have you used were? Because you've used they and not he or she. Let's take an example of a negative statement. I wasn't working. Wasn't. W-A-S N apostrophe T. Now what does apostrophe mean? That you've missed out the O. You could have easily said I was not working. Even that is correct. It's acceptable. But the contraction is I wasn't working. Similarly, we weren't working. Don't say we weren't. It is not weren't or warrant. Aapne kisi ka warrant nahi nikala hai. It is weren't. Or simply say, we weren't working. Weren't because we hai. Let's see some more examples quickly. Was she going to the theater when it started raining? It's a question and interrogative sentence. Next. What are you planning to do in the holidays? What are you planning to do in the holidays? Again an interrogative sentence in the past continuous form. Another one. He asked me why I wasn't having dinner at the hotel. Or you can also say it like he asked me why I was not having dinner at the hotel. Both are acceptable. Next. When the earthquake began, we weren't playing football. We shows that there are many people involved, many players in fact. So you use weren't. So we've done the past continuous form in detail now. Let's fill in the correct word or words in the blanks. It's your exercise time now. At 5 o'clock, it dash. At 5 o'clock, it dash. The verb you can use is snow. Next, when John dash, I dash. The two verbs you can use are call and sleep. Use them in the correct form. Next, the postman dash when I dash the car. The postman dash when I dash the car. The verb is come and the other one is clean. Next, while they dash for the train, they dash Sarah. While they dash for the train, they dash Sarah. The two verbs are see and wait. Just four sentences was an easy one. Okay, let me tell you the correct answers. At five o'clock, it was snowing. Not it snow, but was snowing. Next one. When John called, I was sleeping. Was sleeping makes it the past continuous form. Next. The postman came when I was cleaning the car. Last one. While they were waiting for the train, they saw Sarah. C becomes saw in past. And because we've used they, which represents a group of people, so we use were along with they. So this was all about the past continuous tense. I'm sure you should not have any doubts by now. If you still have some doubts, Revise and go through the workbook once again. Now let's move on to the past perfect continuous tense.
let's see where all can we use the past perfect continuous tense this tense is used for an action that began before a certain point in the past and continued up to that time now first you need to consider a specific point in the past suppose i consider this point in the past the action began before this point say out here and it continued up till this point ek point se pehle shuru hua aur us point tak chalta raha right let's see an example when i joined carmel convent my friend had been studying there for 2 years now which is the point that you're referring to the day when you joined carmel convent and before that day what is the action that was going on till that day it is that your friend was studying so this is how you can use the past perfect continuous form to represent this action another example we had been living in chandigarh for 12 years when my father was transferred now the day your father was transferred that is your reference point prior to that you had been living in chandigarh so you've put it this way that we had been living in chandigarh for 12 years when my father was transferred this is how you can use the past perfect continuous form in order to represent a specific action in the past let's see the verb formation for this form first you have the subject it is followed by had been why had because it's a past action had been which is followed by the verb and of course it is the continuous form don't forget to add ing with the verb let's see another example kiran had been studying psychology since she was in class 11 had kiran is the subject had been studying we use the correct verb formation one more i had been remembering my grandparents when they arrived again had been remembering is the verb formation let us now see some more examples i had been playing hopscotch by myself when the new girl in my class joined me jab tak new girl ne aapko join nahi kiya tha us point tak you had been playing hopscotch by yourself you were doing this action continuously so i had been playing becomes the past perfect continuous form another example the students had been waiting to board the school bus it's a very simple example this is what you do every day you wait for your school bus in the morning so this is what you can tell your friend the next day that day i had been waiting to board the school bus and it didn't come after i had been examining the globe for hours i finally located india on it you did a lot of hard work you were trying to figure out where is india your country on the globe so after you had been examining the globe for hours you located india on it i had been studying very hard for my board exams the board exams are over you're telling about a past action my sister had been taking dance classes since she was 5 years old jab aapki sister 5 years old thi tab se wo dance classes le rahi thi the sharmas had been looking for a maid since last month easy example one more If your performance was good in the final exams it means you had been working all year agar final exams mein if your performance is good it means for the past one year you had been working hard 
Now about the past perfect continuous form, let us discuss how we can represent the interrogative and the negative forms here. It had been raining all night. If you want to frame a question for this, how would you frame it? If you want to represent it in the interrogative form, you will say, had it been raining all night? Aap pooch rahe ho na, question hai, to interrogative mein question ki tarah hi frame karoge. Had it been raining all night? Another example, the roads had been flooding that year. How will you frame a question? Had the roads been flooding that year? Isn't it easy? Answer deke hi aap badi asani se, you can frame the question. Now similarly, if I give you a question and you need to give me the answer, it's even more easy. For example, the same question, had it been raining all night? What could be your answer, the possible answer? Either you will say, it had not been raining all night or yes, it had been raining all night. These are the two possibilities. Ya to yes, ya to no. Similarly, if I ask you, had the roads been flooding that year? You can say, the roads had not been flooding that year. This is a negative answer. Now, this was about the past perfect continuous form. And now is the exercise time. The exercise is titled the summer of 99. Okay, so let's go ahead do this exercise. In this exercise, you need to fill in the blanks with either the past continuous or the past perfect continuous form. Dono hum kar chuke hai. Depending upon the structure of the sentence, use the correct form. Open your workbook for those of you who have not opened their workbooks. Open up your workbook to the exercise, summer of 99. Okay, let's start. It dash a hot summer. The verb is was. We dash for the monsoon rain to relieve us of the heat. The verb is wait. The rain clouds dash us that year. The word is fool. The English fool, not the Hindi pool. Okay. Next. They dash for days as per the weather forecasts. The verb is arrive. Next. And yet we dash to see one dry day after the other. The verb is wake up. Next one. And then one night there was lightning and thunder. And when it finally did rain, it dash. The verb is pour. P-O-U-R. So you hardly have around six blanks. Do the exercise quickly. Done? Good. Let's check your answers. Let's move on to the solutions. It had been a hot summer. We had been waiting for the monsoon rain to relieve us of the heat. The rain clouds were fooling us that year. They had been arriving for days as per the weather forecasts. And yet... We were waking up to see one dry day after the other. And then one night there was lightning and thunder and when it finally did rain, it was pouring. Wasn't it an easy exercise? It was for those of you who understood the tenses and for those of you who kept the subject verb agreement concept in mind. Because if you forget the subject verb agreement, you would not know which word to use with which person. 
whether to use was with singular or was with plural. So that was all we had to do today. But before we wind up the session, it's revision time for us. So what have we done today? We discussed the use of the past continuous tense. To use the past tense and not to forget to use the ing form of the verb. Then we talked about the verb formation with certain examples. How can you form the sentence using the correct verb formation? Subject comes in first, then was or were and then the verb with the ing. We discussed a lot of examples as well and I hope you understood all of them. We also talked about the subject verb agreement which is again a very important concept. Which subject wants which kind of verb? Singular subject will go with was, plurals would go with were. Then we did certain exercises. Remember the exercise where we had shown the office scene? You do? Okay. Next we had gone ahead and discussed about the past perfect continuous form of the verb. In the past perfect continuous, we first discussed where all can you use the past perfect continuous, under which situations or circumstances. We also talked about the verb formation in case of past perfect continuous. The subject is followed by had been, which is then followed by the verb ending in ing. We discussed the interrogative and negative forms which were very easy. Towards the end of the session we had a small exercise titled Summer of 99 and I hope all of you got all the answers correct in that exercise. Good. So now you've studied enough. Go out and play for some time. And when you go home, don't forget to do your home assignments given by your teachers and revise this chapter. Until next time. Bye-bye and study well.